Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ethereal Orb. Um, today I'm going to be pouring on, this is just a piece of wood, a round piece of wood, it's about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick. Got it at, um, oh there's a little chip in my wood. I got it at um, Lowe's quite a while back. It's been sitting in my room for quite a while. I guess that's not coming out. It's just separated a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and anyway, so I finally, I've been looking at it and I finally decided it was time to pour on it. So I have, um, this is Anita's Light Turquoise. And then I have some Folk Art Silver Anniversary um, mixed with a little too much white. I wanted to lighten it up just a hair bit. Um, it's a little bit darker. It was a little too close to that. Um, so I added a little bit of white and I added a little too much. Um, but we'll see. It should be okay. Um, and then I have this Deco Art Extreme Sheen in Pewter. And everything is mixed. Oh, and I have a bunch of Blit Acrylic White. Everything is mixed with um, my pouring medium mix that I use, which this time I, I mixed it with different ratios. I have one part Floetrol to, I mean, one part Liquitex gloss medium and varnish to two parts Floetrol. Um, and it's about 50% of that, 50% of paint, and then enough water to get it to a nice pouring consistency. And in my colors, I am using the alcohol blending solution again. I did that in my last pour, um, and I really liked it. I didn't get a chance to play around with it too much because it was one of those few occasions where I poured it and was really happy with it without playing with it too much. So um, I wanted to try it again um, in this one. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do white negative space, and I'm going to do, I think, like a stripe of the colors, and then... Um, swipe it out kind of like off center it's kind of what I had in mind um, so um, I guess right there is what I'm thinking and I well I'm thinking about doing the swipe I also have some straws um, in case I want to use air Sorry, I'm just kind of thinking a little bit. Um, I had it all planned out in my head. And of course, now that I'm going to do it, I'm second guessing. Should I do like an arc? Let's do an arc instead of a straight line and see if um, I can manage it and have it still look like a decent arc. What do you guys think? Okay, so I'm going to do the teal. Uh, the dark, the pewter, and then the silver anniversary. So, um, oh, and I do have doo -doo -doo -doo. some of this um, pigment powder. This would be the one I would use in green purple. And depending on how everything looks, I may add just a little bit of that to the white. Um, we'll see. I want to use just a little bit more of this. It's probably enough. Probably more than enough. I'm not. I'm not sure. Okay. Here. Go down to both sides. in there. That's all right. That was lighter than I wanted it anyway, so it's okay. Okay. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit down here too. This piece of wood I just sprayed um, with a, um, oh, it's like a primer. We got at Lowe's. It's for metal, I believe. Not It's not for wood. It just what I happen to have in my garage. I was spraying some tile um, and I thought I would go ahead and do this just so it wouldn't absorb too, too much of the paint. Okay, cool. 
Now my white, lots and lots of white here. Oh, and my alcohol blending solution is just in the colors. We don't have any in the white. And I, I mixed quite a bit of paint, so um, I think there's like seven or eight drops in each color, if I didn't say that. I don't remember saying how much. Oops, I'm going to move my pigment powders out of the way so they don't get covered in paint. That would be smart. I'm also going to move my paint out of the way a little bit. Just a hair bit. Oop, sorry. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. And I left my offset spatula in the kitchen because I was cleaning it the other day after I used it. It's a good place for it, isn't it? It's okay. I can use this just as well. Let's see if I have enough or I need a little bit more. boring part. Okay, so I have, I don't usually do New Year's resolutions, but this year I definitely have one and that is working on my editing skills so that I can edit some of these videos a little bit better um, for you guys, make them better to watch. Like right now I can speed up, but I don't know how to speed up part of a video. I know how to speed the whole thing up. Not know how to speed just part of it. Okay, definitely have enough white, but that's okay. I wanted to go over the edge a little bit. And I'm going to be swiping, so. Swiper, no swiping. Okay, we'll do the sides later. Right here. I have some more white already mixed, too. So if I need to add a little bit of white, I can. My gloves a little bit. edges on this are just a little bit rough. They probably could have been sanded now that I'm painting on it. A bit late now, huh? Okay, let's just, now that my glove is already paint covered, let's just go ahead and do these other sides. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, I think I am going to swipe for sure. Take this glove off. And see if I have another one I can put on real fast without taking up too much time. And I do. Okay, now for my swiping tool, handy dandy, this is the first thing I'm going to try anyway. Um, <laughs> these are, I don't know if you're familiar with Salon Paws pain patches. Um, they're just a natural menthol pain patch, and I use them for my migraines. And um, they used to be a little bit more like stiff, sturdy than they are now, but I've used to, I used them before to swipe and I really liked them. They're a little more flimsy now, so I'm gonna give it a try and see. If I don't like it, I will switch to something else. And let's just, should I swipe this way or just this way? Because I was gonna swipe this way, but now that I have this arch, let's just see what happens. Kind of swipe like this. Okay, that didn't move the paint very much at all. Let me wipe that off and give that another try. And if it doesn't do a little bit better the next time, I will switch to something else. Okay. Whoops. That's doing a better job this time. Okay. And that's kind of cool. Wipe that off. I did want it to come into the white a little bit, so I think I will still swipe out. Because I would like it to come into the white. Or should I use my straw? Let's use a straw first, see if I can't get it to... Yeah, I like that better, I think. Except I don't like all these. Let's 
do this and then I'm gonna stand up. Ouch! Something just fell on my foot. I had a tile, a big tile, leaning on my table and it just fell on my foot. Okay. I apologize for my head full of um, gray hairs. Okay, let's do this then. I like that, but I don't like you can see all the individual. So let's do this. Let's go over. Ooh, I just kind of ruined it, didn't I? Ooh, that doesn't work very well. Okay. Try tilting just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to turn it because what I'm kind of thinking, make sure that's on there. I kind of like this clean edge and then kind of this feathered edge. I like having kind of the, although I like this, so I may swipe a little bit. Let's take this, whoops, wipe it off. Do, 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 do. This is, you know, I need an assistant. This is where having a butler would come in handy. Batman has got it made. Always wanted an English butler with a witty sense of humor and sarcasm. Come in so handy. Okay, that's kind of cool. Ooh, I even like that little yoop. Okay. Let's see. Should we tilt this way just a little bit? And Oh, it's moving more down here than here. So, let me see. I do really like it. I just want to feather that out. Let's get, where's my straw? Um, a little bit more into the white. I'm trying to be a little careful because the problem with blowing is it, it tends to pull the bottom color up. If you haven't used a straw um, on your pores, and if you have a color that um, has sunk to the bottom, this is the best way um, to get it to come back. If you have a color um, that you feel like you've done a flip cup and one of your colors just totally disappeared, and you really, really want it in the pour, use a straw and blow, and that bottom color will come back up to the top. Um, that is a great way to get those colors back up. I've done that many times, and it always, it always works out well. But right now, I do not want, see this is over the white, and I don't want to pull that white back over top of it, so I'm going to use my handy dandy little Salon paws here. By the way, if my head ever came in view, my forehead, I have a salon paws on my forehead right now. So if you're thinking, what in the world does that lady have on her forehead? Um, it's just a salon paws pain patch because I was getting a little bit of a headache and I knew I wanted to pour this evening. So um, I need to get that on to make sure that my headache went away and it did. Okay, I am digging this like tons. I might torch a little bit, maybe just on the side shut. I'm not even sure. I kind of wanted to use my pigment powders, but I'm looking at it and I think it might be too much. I think it's just right. I might do a little line. Let's see what happens. I can always go back if I just do a little bit right in here of the pewter. Kind of like a feather. Give it a um, vein. Oh, yeah, I like that. Okay. 
Yep, I am digging that. Okay. Torch, 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 torch. I don't want to get much white in that, but we'll torch a little bit and see if the white comes up. White always seems to come up with the torch. Where's my torch? I'm standing on my chair to get a better look. Oh, sorry. I am... This is a mess. I've got my kids' Christmas in here hiding from them since they're not allowed in this room. And, um... Boxes are starting to encroach. Okay. Oh, right in there. Let's see if we can get some... Getting a lot with the torch yesterday when I did the um, there we go the blending solution I got lots of little tiny look like little gem gemstones I'm not getting so much today it's okay. And that may be that. I don't want to mess with it too much because it's, I think it's just right. I like that little, other than that, it's a clean line and the, well, let me stand on my chair again so I can get a, oh, but then I put a shadow on it, don't I? Ooh, but you have a glare. There we go. Turn it a little bit. I think I need to go around the edges and um, make sure that everything's covered in white. I am really excited about that. I'm looking at it from up above. I'm wondering if I should feather that out a little bit more. I might um, not feather it out, but is that too solid right there? Do, 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 do. As I think. Let's pull some of this. back into here just a little bit there we go just a little there okay that I like I might no I'm not even gonna torch well I might I'm gonna torch that tiny little spot right there and then I am done Okay, the torching isn't doing much today. Okay, that's okay. I liked it anyway. So, that is that. That is a wrap on this one, guys. You just need to go around the edges, and I won't do that on camera and make sure it's all covered. It didn't flow over the edges very well. It looks like I need to do some touching up with some white, but, I, ooh, sorry. I will do that off camera. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up or thumbs down if you liked it or didn't. Liked it or didn't, liked it or not. And if you haven't already and want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe channel and the little bell and you'll get notifications when I post my videos. We will see you guys next time, guys. Happy pouring.